Today we're going to look at a new feature that's able to take a uh, protein quant that comes from Diane and uh, reinterpret it in a more familiar view. Diane is very popular, uh, very effective at creating quantitative results from DIA and SWATH experiments. The output of Diane uh, usually a text file that looks something like this uh, that um, you know by protein by peptide by transition lists out the um, uh, uh, relative quantities of, of proteins extracted from the swath or DIA measurement um, usually at this stage um, an informatician will take this output through a stats package like R and with a handful of scripts turn this into um, you know, something kind of more digestible. And what I'll show you is a way to do that in one omics. I'm just going to pull it up. This is uh, one omics. Um, and I'll show you what done looks like. Um, we have a workspace for this uh, workflow. And in, in the case um, the, of that text file that I showed you before, here it is imported into one omics and assembled into a result. That result um, uh, looks like this. Plotted in one omics, you get a sense for a number of um, you know, proteins within the experiment, number of peptides and transitions that were uh, used to do the extractions. Um, a useful volcano plot is provided that plots full change versus confidence. And um, also within the uh, the software package, a way to look at the proteins that are you know up and down expressed, um, signified by uh, you know blue for for down expressed and orange for up expressed. I'll filter down the view just a little bit so you can see um, how we can you know remove some of the um, or, or or to highlight the more interesting hits here. And um, you know, clicking on individual rows will give you a look at the the peptides uh, upon which that protein is based. All right, now I'll show what it uh, looks like to actually bring that file in and and do this. Uh, so if I come back out to the main page of uh, this workspace, what I'll do is I'll transform. Um, what I'll do is I'll transform this item and just give it some names. And I'll hit go. The output will look like this. And at this point, this is the import of that file into OneOmics. Um, and uh, what we're going to go to now is to look at the underlying experimental setup that was done within um, that Diane experiment. Uh, so uh, these were the files uh, that were part of that Diane extraction. Uh, these are the experimental and, and tech uh, groupings for uh, these files. And we can edit these um, metadata groupings if necessary. In our case, we'll keep them as is. And from here, we'll go straight to um, uh, an assembly process. So we'll hit that shortcut, bring up. Just a, a way to organize our results. Continue to put stuff into a folder. Use K as my control group. And I'll name the rest of my attributes. There I'll activate the process. Once that assembly process is complete, you'll get a result. And so you'll recognize this is the same view that we saw before. Uh, where that Diane output has been brought into one omics uh, via the transform process and then assembled into this full change result. And with that, that's the end of this um, vignette uh, for this feature that 
interprets a, a Diane result inside of one omics. Thanks very much.